I'm not showing the energy's coming in. Of course, you've got the bars moving up now, showing the charging <laughs> to those batteries. Oh, that's fantastic. Hey guys, I wonder if anyone remembers these. These are the BACs or big ass coils from 11 years ago. And although they look very dirty now, it's seemingly just the passage of time that's created, well, onto the glue and everywhere. They look quite terrible, but they still work. So the nice thing about these was the wireless range you could get. And I'm running at the moment on 5 volts. You can see there's 20 to 40 milliamps being used, so about 30 milliamps. And the whole idea of this is to create a system that transmits from a solar panel outside, a 100 watt solar panel, to indoors via a window. And that's been something that's kicking, been kicking around recently in comments, of an idea to do so. And I believe it was Kyle Carrington back in the day who first suggested such a thing, so we'll have a go at that. Now the thing about these BACs is the transistor driver is an E13009. I'll put the data sheet on the screen now. So that transistor has enough power to handle the 100, well, about 70 watts, 80 watts maximum coming out of the 100 watt panel. And we'll see how much we can transfer indoors. Now for a quick demonstration of these coils, which are 24 turns each of coaxial cable, 45 feet in length each. I've got a container here of well, salt, but it's 6 inches in height or 15 centimetres. So, I'll put that in the middle, put the coil on top, and there you can see, the light is on. There we are, so that's a nice bit of distance there, so it'll definitely, definitely get through a window. Okay, so there's the solar panel, looking through the window at, well, you're looking at the problem, there's the BAC. And it's a heck of a size, it's right in the name, isn't it? So I'll be experimenting with making smaller ones and uh, see what we can transfer through. But, you know, as an initial thing, concept, we don't know yet. So we'll try BAC to BAC through the window. We're outside now with the other one, the main driver coil, and there's another couple of problems I've noticed. One is the input wires. There's no way that those are going to carry... 100 watts anywhere close and to connect to the wiring I'm going to have to use quite thick wires all I've got are these daft clip leads but at least we should be able to see something indeed the sun's gone in too it's a cloudy day so we're up against it let's see if we can get anything transferred through right there's the panel got the white wires that come out changed to brown and ends in the XT60 connector that normally goes into the EcoFlow, and then I've got the clip leads going to the BAC. Now we'll put it on the window and see what happens. And then came the next problem, it kept falling off the window, so I've used a bit of tape on there. Nothing a couple of suction things couldn't sort out, but I haven't got any of those. And the next problem was immediate, that resistor on the right is only a quarter watt, and it overheated and failed very very quickly. Now back 11 years ago I used to use a little bit of water and <laughs> two pieces of copper instead and you can see there's some electrolysis going on on that top one but it seems to work as a somewhat of a resistor it's not as efficient in any way but you can see there we're running whoops you can see there yeah we're actually running so we'll see if we're getting anything on the other side of the window and the answer is yes, but, of course, here's another problem now. This BAC is the wrong way round, if we think about it. Because this other one has got its cardboard at the back as well, and these circuits often do work better, or at least at all sometimes. One way round better than the other. So I think I'll, I don't know, turn this one around maybe, and um, see if we can get the throughput and of course the sun's gone in. So I've now extended the wires a little and flipped it around and as you can see 
a nice bright light. So the system's working now. That's that's just really cool to see. Straight through the window. And there's the power source outside. Well the power source is in the sky, but you know. So next, while that's working, we can regulate things in a more traditional solar way by plugging in one of these, a charge controller. And then we'll see if it can operate with it. While I was wiring up this solar power controller, I realised another problem. The output of this is not going to be DC. So, looking at the diodes I've got available in this box, the best ones appear to be 1N5404, they're 3 amps with 400 volts capability. So I'm going to put two of those in parallel, and that should allow this charge controller to work. Okay, so what we've got going on here is the receiving coil. We go down to the two diodes, then we go into the charge controller, the battery is just three very very old lithium ions and they're currently showing 11.5 volts so what we're looking for is little arrows on the left side of the screen to show solar input going in and hopefully showing these old batteries charging well I've connected up outside and nothing yet so the next thing I'm going to do is the other line as well I'll put two diodes on and then we should be, uh, well, make it a full wave bridge rectifier. See if that sorts it out. Okay, so I've built a full wave bridge rectifier and I put a capacitor on there, 470 UF for 200 volts. It's overkill, really. But it's worked. There we are. Solar energy coming in. That little marker there is the solar panel. And that's showing the energy's coming in. Of course, we've got the bars moving up now. Showing the charging <laughs> to those batteries. Oh, that's fantastic. Oh, so that's, that's a bit of a goal met, really. So from outside with two cats to inside via wireless electricity into the charge controller and actually charging the batteries. Now for the final test, here's my tablet. And on board this thing is USB. So I'll plug that in and we'll see if we can get the tablet to come up that it's charging. Give it a few seconds, it always takes a while and then hopefully we, we can see this. Oh, unless I have to switch it on. Oh no, there we go. Ha <laughs> ha! Wow, we're charging the tablet. So, what I'll do is I'll do some more on this system, uh, if there's interest in it, and we'll see if we can get the sizes smaller of the coils, and see if we can get it, you know, more efficient and what have you. Obviously, replace the, the water that's acting as a resistor. But I'm very happy indeed with that. It's working.